my guys again. Two videos, one day. Amazing. Right, so here on the desk we have what is an old ammo box. Um, nice steel enclosure. From, it's uh, made in 1983. Probably sort of 50 cow size uh, rounds it was taken. So it's one of those. I'm going to use that for the case of this project. And I'm going to use the microwave again. Leftover from that last project, trying to fry lithium cells that didn't work. So, I'm going to make a. Um, what am I going to make? I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm going to make a spot welder for lithium cells. So, I'm going to take it apart and we'll see where we get. Yeah, oh, that's nice of them. They've actually put, if you can see in the camera, uh, a circuit diagram of what's in it on the case. Very nice. Right. So, the bit we are interested in is the transformer down here. Uh, some other bits that we might keep and salvage. But for now, there's that transformer. So, uh, there is a capacitor in here. Um, it looks like it's got a bleed resistor down there. But be careful, because they charge quite high voltage. Anyway. I'm going to strip the bits out of this, and then we'll come back to you when um, we're about to assemble them and make that short spot welder. Okay, we're back. Got the transformer out. Um, now it's time to get rid of one of the windings. So, the winding you need to keep, let me zoom in for a minute. So you have your primary, which is the thicker of the two gauges of wire, quite thick wire. So that one connects to the mains coming in, um, both in the microwave and in the project that you're about to do. Uh, so keep that one. The second one is much thinner wire and is your secondary, and that's your high voltage for the microwave. We don't need that, so that's the one we're going to cut away. Um, there's multiple ways we can do this. So there's a laminate of metal sheet uh, sheet metal disc, uh, plates basically for transformer uh, and they've been welded down there to keep them all together it's actually two parts so I don't know if you can see on the camera but there is actually um, a gap there well not a gap but a, a joint uh, and they've welded down so you could cut those welds up with an angle grinder or like what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut straight down on the transformer down here on the, the secondary wiring, winding, the thinner winding and then knock out uh, the, uh, the coil so we'll probably fast forward this when I get it into the edit suite because this will be boring just get a couple of my friends over Tap to separate it a bit. Do a lot more hacks or anything. Just to start prizing it away a bit. That's what's happening. I just prized it away. There's uh, a couple of metal bits on top there. Right? So a little cut through. Those bits we don't want. So we don't want. It's got. A choke on there, I might just keep that. I 
might come in handy one day for something. Don't know what. Right. I'll quickly get this mess off the desk. That's the winding we've just chopped through, and then we're going to need to try and hit that out. So they, they laminate these, and that basically means they're all stuck together with some sort of resin, which won't be particularly easy to get apart, I'm sure. I'll give it a little tap, but I may have to. Um, Put it in the vise, so I might have to turn you off for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to make my life easier, I'm going to put it in the vise, so I shall turn you off for a minute. Okay, so I've hit it a lot to try and get that out, and it turns out it requires a lot of hitting, so I'm going to drill it out. Here's hoping. Here's hoping that a few more. Oh God, zooming in the wrong way. Here's hoping a few more careful taps. We'll see this secondary winding now come out. So I've drilled pretty much all the way through it to the bottom. As I say, it was tough as anything. It did not want to come out. I've now got an achy arm because I've been throwing a rather big hammer around it. Didn't want to shift. Right. Right, well, I don't mind saying that was painful to do. Uh, I am sweating like a very sweaty thing. Um, one side just did not want to come out. The drilling helped me a lot, saved me a lot of time and a lot of arm ache. Um, so yeah, I drilled both sides and hit away even more. But that's what we're looking for basically, a transformer that then looks like that with a primary, the thicker wire winding down there. So now what we're going to do is put a new cable in here, a couple of turns. Um, a lot of people use things like the earth lead off um, welding cable. Um, but I so happen to have just here, if I grab it out, this cable. This is pretty thick. Uh, uh, it probably does sound there somewhere, but it's similar sort of size. Um, this came off a car, so it's the, um, I think it must be the uh, positive battery lead, the main battery lead off the car, because uh, it's got a red stripe in it. So, um, what I want to do is wind it through here in such a way and get two through. This is where the interesting bits start to, to happen. And give it a quick twat dry and see what we can melt. Hoping I don't have to cut the crimps off the end of this cable. It would be kind of useful, uh, nicely done, but I think I'm going to have to chop them off. Oh no, just about to squeeze this through. It's like wrestling with a snake, a bag of snakes. Hopefully I can get these pretty much equal lengths. So, oh, it's close enough that I'd say. Close enough. Right. 
So that's all we wanted basically. Um, so we've got terminals on the back here for the positive supply. So if we have a quick look back in the microwave, uh, it does. So the, I'm just going to use the screwdriver, a decent screwdriver, I always seem to lose mine, so it's something to do with the workshop. It's getting that time of year for the uh, biannual workshop clean up, that's what I'm doing. Right, so yeah, I'm going to uh, use the cable off the microwave because it's already made up. So, I'll be careful because you don't want to kill yourself. And this will all be live. So, not plugged it in yet. Safety first. Not quite the right connections. Um, plug connections. But I need to plug this into one that's got a switch on. Some of them on this bench don't have a switch on. Um, I need to grab my meter. Put it on 400 amps because we're hoping it's going to go really high. And it's on DC. You put hold on so when it touches it'll hold the uh, maximum current that we're drawing. Right, so hopefully you can see some of what's happening. Don't need the probes, all we need is these two guys and we're we'll touching together and we'll have a look at the meter reading and see what it says. Right, we'll turn the power on. Hear the coil buzzing away. Oh, that was a big crack. <laughs> hey, I'm liking it. This is where my meter doesn't actually work. I had it on DC, what a simpleton. <laughs> I tell you what, it's got some poke in it. I saw then a hundred and something. Over 400 the meter bottomed out. I'm happy with that. So that's the swap welder basically. Um, there's a few other things that we need to do. So I've got uh, I've got the case for it, as you see, and somewhere I've got some metal bars, um, copper bars, sorry, so high current bars. They act as the prongs. I'm probably going to do it so that within this wonderful case, I'll just unplug, unplug it from the means. Uh, within this wonderful case, I'm probably going to have a set of terminals uh, somewhere on it, on the top or on the side or whatnot, that will um, be for handheld um, spot welding thing. Then I'll probably have another set for a mounted arm which I'll probably use these for. Now as another idea for you guys if you're going to do it at home, you grab them. Uh, these. Um, I got these off eBay. They are copper roofing nails. And I thought they'd make quite nice contacts. Well they're a bit small 
but they'd be kind of ideal for the 18650 uh, contacts, so two of those, take the top off. Um, and that would be kind of ideal for a handheld gun, I think. So I can have two of those, like that, as the contact onto the 18650 cell, to spot the uh, nickel plate on. So, that's how you modify the microwave transformer. I'll do another video at some point when I assemble this all together, but I'm running out of time today. Um, so yeah, great fun. Uh, have fun, be safe, go build something. <laughs>